Hello everyone and welcome back to A Swift Look. I am Zoe and today we're going to be recapping Taylor Swift at the VMAs, which took place on Wednesday night, September 11th in New York City. There's a lot to get into from the wins, the fashion, her thanking Travis Kelsey on stage, which that was quite a moment. So much to get into. Let's start out with the red carpet outfit, which was the first thing we saw of Taylor Swift uh, during the night. Now, I would say typically, like nine out of 10 times, I really like what Taylor Swift chooses to wear. She's not somebody who I feel like is always super fashion-y. I feel like she tries to, um, like sometimes she attempts to be fashion-y, but I think more often than not, she wants her looks to still feel like relatable. And um, I don't know, I think she kind of plays it safe sometimes when it comes to her looks. Last night, the look she wore on the red carpet, the sort of plaid outfit, I have to admit, I did not love. Now I know there's some people who did love it. I appreciate that she took a risk. I appreciate that she tried something different. It was sort of giving reputation vibes, kind of. I just was a little bit confused because typically she tends to dress on theme, like whatever the album is or the sort of cycle or the air that she's in, she kind of dresses at award shows in that theme. And I didn't particularly feel like that outfit was tortured poets department themed. I don't know, it just, it didn't quite work for me, which is totally fine because she's able to do whatever she wants, which is my own personal opinion. I will say though, she looked phenomenal. Like her makeup, her hair, just, she looked so beautiful and stunning. And I don't know, she's just looked especially beautiful recently. Uh, I loved her glam, I loved her hair. I just, I thought that all looked so great. Um, and what's funny though, is that she ended up changing her outfit. So she she gets there, she wins her first award with Post Malone, they go on stage. And then after that, she changed into what I really liked, which was this very cute dress, had like a spaceship type, it, like alien kind of thing on it, which that is very Tortured Poets Department because during the Eras tour, when she is performing TTPD songs, there's a song where there's like a spaceship on the screen. So that was very much on theme and I really liked that dress. I thought it was cute, it was fun. Um, so I was, I was more drawn to that look than the red carpet look. But again, she looked beautiful, she looked stunning. Um, I love her friendship with Post Malone. I think it's so cute. And I just love how Post Malone has created this, like he, he just is friends with everybody. I feel like he is featured on everybody's album. He has everybody featured on his album. Like, I don't know. He just seems like a really nice guy who people genuinely love. There were a lot of Taylor Swift friends in attendance. She was there, looked like with Jack Antonoff and Margaret Qualley. Um, she was also spotted talking with Suki Waterhouse, who we know is a good friend of hers. I mean, Sabrina Carpenter was there, who obviously opened for Taylor Swift. So she had a lot of people that she knew. I mean, Taylor Swift, she knows everyone at, at this point. Um, so that was fun. And I feel like with award shows, particularly with Taylor Swift, like the most fun part is watching her watch other artists on stage and perform and sing and dance. And I was particularly loving Taylor during Katy Perry's performance. Um, she was really getting into it and having a good time. And, you know, to think about where we, the journey we've been on with Taylor Swift and Katy Perry over the years and how far we've come, it's a really beautiful thing, you know, to get to this point where they're actually friends with each other, they're fine, they're good, there's no bad blood, um, all that stuff. So that was that was great. But I feel like the biggest um, the biggest story of the VMAs um, was when Taylor Swift went on stage to accept video of the year. Okay, now this win um, has made her the artist with the most video of the year wins ever, which is crazy. I think she also now has like the most VMAs ever. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure. But in sort of thanking all the people who helped make the video for Fortnite, she thanked Travis Kelsey. Now this was, this, isn't the, this is not the first time she's ever thanked a boyfriend on stage. 
She thanked Joe Alwyn during the Grammys. Um, I believe she thanked Calvin Harris too uh, at one point. Um, she may not have though. I can't re really remember that. But so it's not the first time she's thanked a significant other on stage. But it is the first time that she has really acknowledge Travis Kelsey in a public forum this this way. I mean, we we know she posted Travis on her Instagram account and like tagged him and stuff when he went on stage with her at the Eras tour, but in terms of like being on TV, being on stage, talking about him, this is kind of the first time. Um and so this is what she said. When I'd finish a take and I'd say cut and we'd be done with that take, I'd always just hear someone like cheering, like woo from across the studio. And that one person was my boyfriend, Travis. Everything this man touches turns to happiness and fun and magic. The crowd was going crazy. The crowd was losing their mind. Like it was like everybody knew how much, how, how significant this moment was, um, but it was very sweet. And like, this is the perfect, this is exactly Travis Kelsey. Like he makes everything fun. And I feel like I've said this a thousand times on this show since she's dated Travis. Like, I feel like he just makes her life fun. And I feel like so much of her life is intense and serious at times and, um, I feel like she's finally with somebody who just likes to have fun and likes to enjoy his life and have a good time. And I feel like he's a breath of fresh air for Taylor, who's somebody who is so like by the book and just is very diligent and hardworking. And Travis is hardworking too, but I don't know. I think he just brings some levity to her life, which is really beautiful. Um, also on the heels of endorsing Kamala Harris, for president on Instagram the night before, Taylor finished her speech by encouraging people to vote in the presidential election, which is great. I think nobody should have any problem with somebody encouraging people to use their voice and vote. Um, so that was great. And congratulations to Taylor Swift. I mean, what an incredible, I mean, she's just, she's a superstar, like plain and simple. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. She is the most famous person in the world and continues to dominate week in, week out. So congratulations to her. And also like selfishly, it was very sweet to hear her acknowledge Travis. And someday we'll finally get Taylor and Travis at an award show together, dancing, celebrating, having fun. Um, so with that, Taylor now has a couple days, you know, to hang, chill, whatever, before I assume she jets off to Kansas City um, Sunday for the Chiefs Bengals game. Um, the game's in the afternoon in Kansas City. So I wonder, I have to imagine she'll probably fly up in the morning or something. Uh, so that'll be fun. We'll get to see her back at another Chiefs game. And I don't know, that's just always my favorite thing is just to see not only like what she wears and who she's with, but just, I just love watching Taylor Swift watch football. It's just very, very, very fun. So next week we'll come back. We will debrief all of that, I am sure. Uh, let me know what you think of Taylor Swift's VMAs, looks, outfits, night, the whole thing. Share your thoughts and feelings in the comments. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure to do so. Follow us on social media and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.